Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Uh, before I begin, I want to give a big shout out to Peter Homer on YouTube. He's the one that showed me how to do this. I'm just merely, I bought the parts he told me to buy, and I'm just going to show you how I did it. Because he's got a really, really good video. He's got a lot of good videos on this Sony AX53. So I've got this, I just bought the Sony AX53, and I was kind of worried about, see the front shutter here, you can touch that. And there's nothing here, there's not a a sun hood or anything so he's got a video on how to install all this and so I bought it takes three parts UV filter um, this hood and this adapter ring and you can get them all off Amazon there's the uh, UV 72 millimeter this is for a later project some eye cups I'm gonna do another video on eye cups because one of the other points you gotta put an eye cup on this viewfinder uh, that's the screen hood. I'm gonna do a review on you gotta buy the 72 millimeter reversible um, Hood for $8.99 and then down here. There's the 55 to 72 millimeter Step-up lens adapter for 12 bucks So I'll leave it there for a minute if you want to pause it Again, there's the reverse. Oops There's the reversible um, hood set and then there's the Amazon Basics UV camera lens filter 72 millimeter. So here's the uh, lens adapter. We're gonna take it out. So it's got really small threads, and then it's got th uh, it can take threads on this side. So we're just gonna screw it in. He was real good on his video. He explained why you have to. Um, make a bigger lens hood because it's got image stabilization in there and if you've got too small of a lens hood when that thing when that image sensor is moving around from the stabilization you can see a smaller sunshade so that's why you adapt it out okay so the lens hood comes with this strap don't lose this this was kind of tricky it almost it fell out on the floor so I'm not sure what that's for yet and then the cap that's gonna be really nice but uh, so this is there's a piece in here you got to get out so you got to kind of press and it pops out so this they call it reversible it's got these little uh, ball springs that kind of adapt to that I guess you can so you can turn it around so there's the adapter and it's got threads on it and that's what we're gonna screw into my the adapter I put on. Okay. Screws on there. I'm not going to tighten everything down super tight. <laughs> and then you just press it on. Okay. That's not too bad. And you can turn it. I like that a lot because you're probably going to want to. So it does, it does loosen the ring if you go the other way. So just go the tighten way. So you can put the shade up at the top. And then there's our cap. Nice. So I like that a lot. Now it does take away some of the portability of this. So one of the nice features, I've got this hand grip on it right now. But one of the nice features of this AX53 is you can just throw it in your pocket. So this will uh, hamper that somewhat, but I think it does need a sunshade. It's not going to get in the way of holding it. It doesn't add hardly any weight to it. But, uh, yeah, I really, really like that. Now we're going to put the uh, UV filter. So even with the sunshade on, you can still touch that. You know, dust can get in there and all that. So that's why I bought this UV filter. So I cleaned the lens. And I'm going to... It might be better if I take this off first. So I'm just going to pop it off now it's a little little tricky because you're getting down inside this ring so it's a little tricky to get this on so just just take your time with getting this on this is a little tricky because you can't grip it the best and it's going to stay pretty flush with this uh, ring adapter and he's got videos of putting other filters. I don't quite understand those other filters yet. I'm early on, just a beginner with doing videos. Um, so he, you can actually stack more filters on this. 
that's just a clear filter UV. And then this just still fits over there, just like that. So this is going to be my setup. I think I'm really going to like it. Those are the three parts. Again, I'm not sure what this is for. comes with directions. Okay, that's the end of the video. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Okay, so now once I've got the UV filter on, I'm gonna put the, I can put the lens cap on, and it fits in there nice and secure. So now I got a pretty nice setup with a, with a sun hood that I can turn around and take the cap off. I'm protected, you know, no water can get in there or anything. Put a cap on so again this is just a dad if you could please like and subscribe look out for my other videos i'm going to be doing quite a bit of videos on this camcorder i really want to use it for um, taking videos of airplanes so I, I post a lot of videos on airplanes and i'm going to be trying this out because i've got this sony ax or rx3 that i use and it's a super nice camera and video but it's just kind of awkward to hold so i really want to get something different. If you could, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.